what's going on guys? Game Guard War here and today we return to Jellyfish Fields as our lovely pink starfish pal Patrick. Hey, what's going on guys? <laughs> and now uh Yeah, I think we're supposed to be going the other way, right? So shiny! Yeah, supposed to be going the other way. Ouch. Yeah, Patrick's kind of the strong, but uh... Okay, I think I have That's to uh... Better. Yep. Duplicate a Tron. Activated again. Hey, at least I get to have more shiny objects. Bob's underwear fits quite right. That's much better. All right, this is where we were now. Okay, so let's read this. This is a flow flute. Patrick can pick up flow flute and flow them. Plus this button to pick up a nearby flow flute. Then plus again to flow it. Flow flute can push buttons, destroy tikis, and damage robots. But use it quickly because a flow flute wilts after a few seconds. Okay, so do that. And there we go. So. Okay, that's the button I was trying to figure out. Oh, okay, so it's bus stop. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at bus stop. Okay, so I can switch characters, but I don't think that's really a good idea right now because uh you sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. So apparently it wilts by flashing. Is this going to explain throwing it up ledges and stuff? Patlik can flow food up steps, then climb the steps, pick up the flute, and flow it again. But it better help before it wilts. Yep, exactly what I figured. And Seesaw. This is a special Patrick Deedle Dotter that only Patrick can use. Uh, Patrick, pick up a flow food. Stand on the pink starfish side, then flow the food at the target side. Patrick will then be flung across to the other side of the lake. Hey, that's interesting. Catapult. And this way. This is a thunder tick. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it will go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. Yep. I'm guessing when it goes boom, that will hurt. Patrick can pick up a thunder tiki and throw it just like other tikis, but he'd better throw it fast. Aw, dang it, I missed. The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Dang it, I bet I missed what Plankton had to say. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. 
Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. Oh. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Yeah, that's the problem with side sleeping. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, I think I'd prefer being vaporized to make knockoff wallets. Ooh, a present to everyone. Okay, so... If you jump in the air and plus this button, Patrick will slam down to the ground, damaging Tiki's or plusing buttons below him. <laughs> if you learn Push this button. button, can't stop self. Ooh, scary dark cave. Okay, we learned this with uh, Patrick, didn't we? Something tells me I was supposed to pick up the tiki's and throw it at the thunder tiki's. Play as a whistle. And uh, that is what I was talking about. So, I'm just throw for four too. Stupid jellyfish. Oh, use the same one. Do I have to read this one? Yep, remember Pato can throw a flow fruit and then pick it up and throw it again before it boots. So it was a reminded thing. Hmm. That's much better. How was I supposed to do the... What was the... Oh, is it... Is that a Spongebob only thing? What was that? Oh, I have to throw it. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Okay, yeah, I'm going to skip out on Tiki's just to get further along. And, uh... Okay. Hey, he's howdy. Okay. Play is a whistle. This is the part where. Take this and there we go. So weight of a full food will also activate pleasure plates. Interesting. Battle can also jump up on full food to get to higher places. You may stack flow fruit as well by flowing a flow fruit on top of another flow fruit. This will allow Patrick to get to even higher places. So, this and ooh. There we go. That took way too long to get up. Ooh, teleport box. Ooh, take the slide. Ooh. 
That's much better. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Yeah, stay away from as long. If Patrick belly flops near robots, he can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger robots will be stunned for a short period of time. Okay, so. Like that. God. And, uh. Ouch! That's all of them. Now, is there anything over here? Oh. If there is something over here. This is a fleasy flute. Patlet can pick up fleasy flute and flow it. Fleasy flute will temporarily fleece goo. Patlet can slide on frozen goo until it falls. Ooh. Let's see how this works. Like Jump. There we go. So, Hammer is a big robot. That's much better. To get the uh, throw fruit. Okay, yep, I am going to have to run it all the way up there. This might take a bit. Dang it. I'm going to have to... How am I supposed to do this? Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. Oh! oh. Ouch. Ooh. Sauce. Dang it. Well, I mean, at least I learned what I was supposed to do. Snuck it. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right.
That took way longer than necessary. And this is the part where I run down here. That's much better. Jellyfish Lakes says. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yep. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Well. Thank you again. Knock off Mr. Krabs. Ooh, what is this? Am I witnessing a quick draw? Oh. oh. Target practice. Oh. Gonna be careful with him. Oh, it actually, it actually gives you the warning. And I'm dead. So, what am I supposed to do? How many of these do I have to carry? To do something to like, distract him? I guess that works. Puff, what are you doing here? Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Where do you hear that kind of stuff? Uh, oh. <laughs> a robot go boo! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Yep, it's a double jump paradise type thing. And uh, so uh, is it this way? I get thrown back instead of just drowning. Interesting. This is the Shtiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. To sneak, move this gently or push this button. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. I'm thinking that I might have to swap characters here. Back to our Tell lovely. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. It. it there's no way that SpongeBob is going to be driving anytime soon. And this is where we can see. Hey, that! like a spring breeze and that is what we were talking about that's what I was talking about with the uh, being able to launch forward just my size hey the explosion actually hurts the robots themselves too Feel like a new sponge. I'm thinking of uh, just trying to climb the way here. There we go. <laughs> Take out both the tiki's with the thunder. Okay, 
So where's the other teleport box? Is it me or is Patrick actually like slower than SpongeBob? Let's see what this is. This is a stone thing. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder things. Gotcha. It looks like Squidward's head. So that is this is going to provide a lot of shiny objects. That is a lot of shiny objects right there. Spend shiny objects. Of course I'll spend shiny objects. That's why I collect them. Oh, that one's a very teeter tottery kind of stone. Patrick only. The question being, are there any nearby bus stops or was I supposed to uh, do this whole thing as Patrick and I just made a big mistake? like a new sponge. Okay, something tells me that I just made a mistake. Oh. Okay then. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. There's that. And... There is something going on here. Now the question is, how do we solve this? What is a whistle? Oh, again! Again! Oh, pretty sparkly thingy. goes Hatotron and there goes me. Now the question is how do I get the uh, supposed golden spatula in the lake? Is there like a run button or is this just the one speed there is? Cause I forget. SpongeBob should come back here later when he knows the clues bubble move. Oh, so that's why there's the bus stop there. That's much better. I don't think SpongeBob's yep. underwear fits quite right. And this is the part where we're trying to climb up the mountain somehow. I don't think that was the right way. That was for the stone TP. And, uh, go this way. Now climb up here. And this 
just gonna be all about trying to find our way up. It seems like we have to go in that direction. Carry a lot of stuff around. Okay, so, uh. Ah. So, there's this way, and there's our box. Remember, Play as a whistle. take advantage of that, and... And it's this way. Is King Jellyfish over here? Don't very... look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look. Yeah, that was definitely a bad idea. Why do I do these things? Ooh, wooden presents. Bus stop, and what's over here? SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. Jump against the side of the wall and press this button again to jump again. It's from here. Yeah, I already read that. But, uh,. There we go. There. Yep, King Jellyfish over right there. Oh. There's another golden spatula. Mrs. Puff mentioned one being thrown in the middle of the lake. Did I make a mistake somehow? Travel to Sport Mountain. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Well. Very like a easily seems that. Ah, oh, it's three rows of underwear at once in order to. <laughs> <laughs> King, King Jellyfish is humming along. Who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Who voices King Jellyfish? Because that is the best singing along ever. Oh, okay. I feel like a new sponge. I'm guessing that I have to, uh,. Like a spring breeze. And finishing slap. I feel like a new sponge. To oh, blue jellyfish. What does the blue jellyfish do?
There we go. Nicely done, little yellow friend! Did it just skip the cutscene, or is that all there was? I didn't press anything. But there's our King Jellyfish Jelly. And you know what that means. Off to Squidward. Hey. Hey. Golden spatula up there. Hey there. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Wait a second. There was a... Uh... Hey. This was way at the beginning, wasn't it? What happens if I jump here now? It does teleport me all the way back. Oh! I'm supposed to go down here. That's... Am I supposed to open the curtain somehow? Can I just walk behind the curtain? No? Well, what am I supposed to do? Because it's... Very clear that I have to do something to get access to there. And, uh... Okay. I'm going to end the video off after this exit. And, uh... Yep, here we go. Bring the oh, yeah! Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? There we go. And with that, I will end off this video. So if you haven't done already, make sure that you like this video, subscribe if you're new, hit that little bell for notifications to be told whenever I make more uploads, comment what you think, maybe give some ideas, tips and tricks, or just any kind of feedback necessarily and with that this has been Game and Gardevoir and I'm out peace